Hey, good morning, gang. It's uh, Matt Modi with Dodge Jam, and we have a ton of MLB games today. So I'm bringing you uh, my MLB best bet for today, Saturday, July 30th. So one game is currently going on, Cleveland versus Tampa Bay. There's a ton left over the course of today. So figured I would uh, go through the slate a little bit and give out my best bet. Um, of course, everything starts with using the Dodge Jam positive EV page to find sharp, profitable bets. Uh, gaining the edge over the sports book is something that can be done uh, using a tool. Let me zoom in a little bit, like uh, the Oz Jam Positive EV page, because they're providing situations and oppor betting opportunities where you're gaining the edge over the sports book. Uh, normally, because of the VIG, the sports book has the edge over you. So, using a tool like Positive EV Betting kind of helps you gain the edge back. So, overall, it's been pretty successful for me. Uh, overall, Positive EV Betting, I will say. Baseball is where I have had some trouble. Um, I was, I mean, I had a pretty good day with baseball yesterday. I think I was this, uh, I think that was like 350 in profit from baseball yesterday. Doing this video yesterday, I was down about 1200 with baseball. So I had a pretty good night last night. A couple nerfy runs, nerfy bets hit. Um, and overall, as you can see just from my total profit, my graph, everything's been going pretty well with uh, positive EV betting. So hoping to keep the specific baseball streak alive after. Um, a couple rough weeks and finally starting to get it back. So we'll see. Uh, and then the play that I have identified as a play that I really like is this yes run first inning in the uh, Rockies versus Dodgers game. I think this is that one that I one that I have identified as my favorite bet. Um, and let's just talk about kind of the logic and everything behind it. First, we'll start with the math. So the Ashtam line, which everybody knows is pulled from the most accurate sports book in the world in terms of how they price odds, prices this at minus 152. Uh, so that's important because right off the bat, you see a pretty sizable gap between the Ashtam line and the bet MGM line. Of course, the positive EV bet is the one that's bolded with the blue box, light blue box around it. That's kind of how you know which one's positive EV. So right off the bat, we can kind of see there's a pretty big gap right between minus 152 and minus 125. Um, but before I can really confirm whether this is a positive EV play or not, aside from the fact that it's on this page, is that the first thing you need to do is you need to look at the no big odds. And that is this column right here. So the VIG is essentially just the juice or the tax that sports books price up odds themselves. Um, the easiest way to understand it is if you go to calculators, go to no big fair odds. So the odds GM, the positive EV page calc calculates the no big odds for you. But if you want to learn how to calculate them yourself, you just go to this calculator page and all you need to do is just type in both sides of the line. So minus 152 plus 129, you can type that in here, minus 152 plus 129. Again, we see the no big odds at minus 138, which is also we see right here. So the gap between minus 138 and minus 125, the gap between the no big fair odds of the Ashtam line and of the book that we're betting it at, that is where your positive EV comes from. In this case, equates to about 4.41% positive EV. And to talk about the VIG a little bit, the way, it, the easiest way to understand it, uh, like I said, it's kind of the tax that sports books price on odds themselves. So, um, you know, they, they don't charge a transaction fee, so you can place as many bets as you want without being charged a fee. They don't take a percent of profit or anything like that. Um, instead, they just price up the odds a little bit. So that's kind of where the tax comes from, because anytime you see 499, 599, you know it's going to end up being more than that. And for um, sports betting, the way, the best way to, to describe it is like the, the example they give is minus 110 each way. So the, so the math behind that is, if I bet 100 bucks on something with minus 110 odds, if my bet wins, I profit $90. Uh, if my bet loses, I lose all 100. So that $10 gap between you know two $100 bettors is the VIG and how sports books make their money. Um, another thing that I find fascinating is that all odds have an associated win percentage with them. So minus 138 associates to a win percentage of about, I mean, it, pretty much exactly 58%. Another way where another place we can see that is if you click this calculator here, 58.01. So basically, uh, based on the no big odds of the odds jam line, which is the most accurate sports book in the world, we think this bet has a, <clears throat> excuse me, 58% chance of hitting. And we're betting it at minus 125. So if you want to know what the win percentage of minus 125, what that is associated with, you could just go to this odds converted calculator, 
type in minus 125, and we see that uh, the minus 125 only has an inherent win percentage of about 55%. So what this means is that if we're betting um, on odds that are minus 125, we need to win about 55.5% of the time in order to break even. But the odds of the Novig line, the Ajdam Novig line, it say associates about a 58 win percentage. So we only need to uh, so we we only need to win 58 percent of the time at those odds in order to break even. So that gap between the um, 58 and the 55 percent is another way to think about positive expected value. We're betting on a play that we only need to hit 50 uh, 55 percent of the time in order to uh, be in order to break even. But we know that that bet actually is going to hit 58 percent of the time. So if the game is played out 100 times, that 3 percent of the time will is our positive expected value, how we'll make the difference. And uh, the positive EV percent itself is 4.41%. So the EV percent isn't the difference in probability. It's actually a, a formula based on the no big odds in the um, odds that you're betting it at. The only thing you really need to know is that the bigger the gap between these two numbers, the bigger this number is going to be. And this number can be viewed as your mathematical profit margin or your percent edge over the sports book. So for every $100 bet on this in one individual bet, yes run for standing, you could figure to profit $4.41. So all in all, everything checks out from a math perspective. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and lock this in. In terms of unit sizing, I just go off the Kelly criterion. So this is about a 2.75% uh, of your bankroll play about. So I'll round this down to about 130 to profit a little over 100 place bet. And everything is good to go there. Um, so there's a couple, so from everything it checks out from a math perspective, right? Um, there's a couple other reasons why I like this one. Number one, one thing that I really, really like doing before deciding whether I should uh, take a bet or not is just look at where every other book has pricing for this play. So if you just click into any positive EV play, it pulls up the odds from every other book. And what we see here is, uh, so the odds jam line, minus 152, bet MGM, minus 125, every other book prices this closer to the Ajdam line, which tells me that this minus 125 on MGM is a true pricing discrepancy. Every other book thinks that this is the heavily favored outcome. I mean, we see minus 170, minus 150, minus 160, minus 145, minus 143, all closer to the Ajdam line. So everything checks out from, from a discrepancy perspective as well. And then lastly, I do a light bit of research on the uh, play itself in terms of uh, handicapping. So it's the Dodgers uh, Rockies. Number one, I love the fact that it's played in Colorado, in Rocky Stadium. Coors Field is the most hitter friendly park in the entire MLB. No matter where, how you slice it, if you just Google best hitting parks in MLB, Coors Field is gonna be up there. So this is just an article. So here's the most, so we see number one, Coors Field, the most hitter-friendly park in the entire MLB. No matter where you search, it's always going to come up Coors Field as the most hitter-friendly. So that's a good start. The pitching matchup itself, obviously, Kershaw's a stud. There is the concern that, obviously, the Kershaw side of it, that the Rockies might not be able to get a run. But on the other side, Kyle Freeland is not a great pitcher. Uh, the Dodgers obviously have one of the best hitting teams in the entire MLB. Teams rake in Rocky Stadium. And if you just look at Nerfy stats for these two teams... The um, Rockies are about a 500 uh, yes run, no run first inning team away. But at home, they're significantly favored towards the yes run first inning. 30, 32 yes, 23 no. The Dodgers are a little bit skewed towards the yes run that first inning as well. So everything kind of checks out from a uh, just a, a blanket handicapping perspective. Uh, so all in all, this adds up to a bet that obviously I really liked. I put uh, 130 on it. So now let me just add this to my bet tracker and then I can get on out of here. So that's going to be it. My official play for today's betting slate, my free play. If you do want paid picks, uh, they're in um, more of our expert stuff. It's in all in the uh, Discord. So if you want to get access to this, it's in the uh, description of the video. Definitely make sure to check it out. Uh, but in terms of a free pick, this Rockies Dodgers yes run for sitting, I think is really good. So if you're tailing it, Love to hear it. Let me know. Uh, but that's all I got for you. So appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.